Yes. Yes. The clear answer is your child needs to be vaccinated. Kids get COVID and they can get incredibly sick and even die of COVID. And so it's really important for parents to understand that vaccinating your kid is the number one way to protect them from getting infected with COVID, to protect them from being hospitalized with COVID, and from dying with COVID. We also know that kids of color, black and brown kids in particular, experience this pandemic at a rate of almost three times worse with the worst outcomes. And so we know that this is another way to protect the most vulnerable population from having the worst outcomes by vaccinating them. The COVID vaccine is absolutely safe for kids. We know that because the rigorous clinical trials that five to 11 year olds went through showed that it's safe that the side effects that kids experience are mild. And they're ones we saw for other age groups like teenagers and young adults. Things like pain at your injection site, which might be in your upper arm, or aches and pains, fevers, chills, things that are commonly treated with over-the-counter medications and typically only last a couple of days. We have not seen serious side effects among the five to 11 year old group from the clinical trial. The data is actually deeply encouraging and I reviewed all 82 pages of it before it was reviewed by FDA and CDC. Um, there were no reports of anaphylaxis, no reports of myocarditis, pericarditis, Bell's palsy, or appendicitis. Those are some of the biggest things that we're looking for in our safety signals in understanding how safe this vaccine is. The vaccine that kids are getting age five to 11 is one third the dose of the vaccine that's being given to adults. The most amazing part about that is that they saw antibody levels as high as those who got the full adult dose. So the exact dose that's given to kids is actually a dose that's rigorously tested to make sure that it's safe for that age group and that it works, that it actually protects kids from getting COVID infection or complications. A lot of parents have been very concerned about whether the COVID vaccines affect their child's ability to go through puberty or their fertility long term. And so it's really important that everyone understands that we have now been looking at this closely. There's no evidence of that. We know that the vaccine is actually not in the person's body for very long, and so we're not concerned about long-term effects on the development of a child. There is no biological plausibility of these vaccines impairing fertility or reproductive health in boys or girls. You can go to your provider, to your pediatrician, to the doctor's office that you regularly go to. You can go to a community site if you're familiar with getting your vaccine at a local pharmacy or a church or even schools. Many schools will also have the vaccines available to kids 5 to 11. The COVID-19 vaccines are free and available to anybody who is eligible for the vaccine in the United States. You don't need to worry about having health insurance or citizenship to be eligible.